Does the champagne bear your name? Yes. Is your first name Piper? <laughs> no. <laughs> Three dotted seven to go, Miss Gilgallon. Are you Mr. Bollinger? No. Would I normally eat this? I would believe so. I'd eat almost anything. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Hey, Mr. Perrier. No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Paul Roger. No. Six. Uh, an animal that anybody might have uh, uh, eaten uh, on this panel. We eat everything, I'd like to add. <laughs> Mr. Mum. No. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Golly, we know more about beer than we do about you. <laughs> <laughs> it, would it be essential to drink this drink cold, to enjoy it to its fullest? No. Not if you're British. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. <laughs> well, there's one thing I hate, it's hot beer. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it just goes to show you how upright all of us are on the panel. We don't know the name of the champagne. <laughs> So sexy, sexy, sexy I need your love, I need no hesitation You're so sexy, sex, sex, sexy Mr. Hitchcock, make this last picture. Uh-uh. I live in New York, mostly. Miss Francis, <laughs> that's eight down and two to go. <laughs> Lives in New York, mostly. She's a husky voice actress. I feel it, but I can't put it anyplace. <laughs> Is it a product that uh, is consumed? Yes. Sometimes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess most of the time. <laughs> is it a product I might put in my mouth? Yes. <laughs> I put all sorts of things in my mouth. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. I just sat back, that's all. Very difficult making a fortune cookie, you know. It gets pretty hot, doesn't it? You have to bend them while they're hot. That's true of all of us. Uh, <laughs> is it amusing because of the people that you meet or because of the nature of the work that you do? I can't answer that with a yes or no. Oh, Miss Cope, you oh. should have come sooner. Congratulations. You don't need me tonight, kid. <laughs> Would your work be at all associated with an institution of any kind? Um... Well, there's a tenuous relationship, I think, perhaps. Well, we'll give you a qualified yes. There you go. I'm no master of ceremony. <laughs> Meet my successor. I'll be right now. Uh, does it, therefore, grow, this product? Yes, it grows, but that will confuse you. So I'll have to say no, because the layman hey, does I not get a new moderator. <laughs> the best friend I've had here in a long time. That's four out of six to go, Mr. Randall. Uh, is it used uh, by uh, every kind of man? As is, is it a, it's not a luxury, I mean. No. Oh, well, yes, it's not a luxury. Yes, it's not a luxury. Hey, wonderful. That's very good. <laughs> One minute to go. Well, they I, are, they are, are, some are raised there, and I mean, we'd have to answer you quali in a qualified sense. I would there. say then there aren't very many of these animals in California. Is that correct? Uh, yes, there are not very many. Animals. <laughs> have these? Uh, have oh, these... you should be moderator. That was very good. <laughs> I don't know very much about this particular product. Would you say this was a large product? Well, it varies. It varies. That's a yeah. good answer. Very good indeed. This product has different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Well, uh, a qualified yes. A qualified yes. She's been listening to you, John. <laughs> By that I mean, is there anything in your work that has to do with um, detecting? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Oh, is this funny? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's very funny. <laughs> Killing daily, anyway. <laughs> is it in a special room that has a, a, a certain designation? No. Yes. No, yes, yes. yes. Guys, we'll have a small cut. <laughs> I would say this, do we don't... I'm going home. <laughs> it's more fun to them than it is to us. Why, what? such good shaving lotion. <laughs> no. Could you do it on water? Jim, stop. <laughs> in water, on water. Six down and forty go, Mr. Could you Sarah. do what you do, Miss Tagner, in the air? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about it? No. <laughs> you couldn't do it in the air? Couldn't do it in the air. Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and now, a gentleman. This is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, Steve. Good night, Arlene. <laughs> God, I certainly got caught in a raft out there. Mrs. Bergeron, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, does the product, is the product one that I could possibly use? Yes. <laughs> If I knew whether the person who said no was a friend or an enemy, I'd have a clue. Yeah, you might at that. Elmer Keys. Elmer Keys Burns. Runs the racing for Mr. Allen. I think Elmer Burns Keys. Elmer Keys Burns. <laughs> Elmer Burns Keys. <laughs> Burns. Well, we could do right. this. All right. All right. <laughs> May what I ask it? a question, John? Yeah. Uh, I'm puzzled by this name, Fabian. Is that is that your real name? Yes, that's that your my, first name. Or your my last real first name? name. Yes. What what's your last name? Forte. F O R T E. Oh, Fa how appropriate. Fabian Forte. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Fortissimo. Well, life, be course. life begins for you at Forte. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Bennett, would you mind leaving the room? <laughs> Product. No, that's two down and eight to go, Mr. Lark. Well, that was fast, uh, John. Uh, Miss uh, Hemoglobin, uh, Miss Blood. <laughs> uh, would would I ever use your services? Well, I think Miss Witt is something athletic, maybe a hockey star. Mr. Allen, I think Eve is in the apple business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bradford. May I assume that you only work with people as opposed to animals? I think that would be a fair assumption. Let us say that we, while there is a circumstance under which um, Mrs. McDonald might have some contact with animals, it would be unlikely, basically, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Very unlikely. Mrs. McDonald doesn't have a farm, then, in other That's... words. <laughs> uh, Mr. Zeller is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Cerf. We're, we're very happy to have you tonight, even though we need buyers more than zellers. You know that. <laughs> it's his birthday, please. No violence. No violence. It's his birthday. Go ahead, Bennett. I think we'd better just get this down, uh, if I may repeat. It has no fur, but it has four feet. And it's not in the dog family or the cat family or the rodent family. And you don't keep it in the cage. And you don't keep it on a lead. And yet it doesn't go around the house of its own volition. And it isn't in my family either. That is in your family. Well, that's nine down and one to go, Mr. Randall. Could we have one conference? You may have 15 seconds for a conference. Ask if it has, I mean, if you want to, if it has anything to do with communication. What? <laughs> a toothpick. Maybe I don't like that. You don't care for that. <laughs> now, may I read you my notes, which are, will get you nowhere? It's manufactured, it's solid, it's enjoyable and cheerful. It's not, it goes on the table, it's inedible, it's not consumed, it's not seasonable, it's decorative and it's useful. It has elementary moving parts, its appreciative period is in action. You don't put your head on it at the table, it's not stationary. It's home and outside and it has no wood in it. 
<laughs> it's simple. <laughs> Naturally, it could only be one thing. What is that one thing? Uh, <laughs> it, um, is it rigid? Rigid? No. <laughs> Ten down and no more to go and hang on.